All right, it was another wild week in the world of finance. And while you're familiar with the headlines, I like to go steps further, right? Connect the dots for you. Take this, the world's wild card, right? The biggest wild card out there in this economy has been all that extra cash out there. Uh, that money has been redirected uh, when folks, uh, of course, add, add on not paying rent, not paying student loans, it's trillions of dollars. Well, it's down now to less than 500 billion, which sounds like a lot of money, but major Wall Street firms are saying that's gonna morph into emergency savings. That's because, well, we haven't been able to get regular savings up fast enough. We're back to almost 5% from 2%, but look at that spike. We were at 35% in 2020, and we were at about 10% uh, pre-pandemic. So what this means is that, uh, you know, people are, are people are trying to find ways to, you know, have money because job openings have gone down, two million are down since the last couple of uh, jolts reports. And essentially what you've got going on is the last chance. People are playing cards. I want to show you the World Series of Poker, a record 10,043 entrants into it. Uh, when that tournament is over, you're probably going to have 10,042 people have to send out their resumes. And I know I'm exaggerating a little bit because half of those folks probably still live with mommy and daddy. But you're still going to probably have to find a job because living in a basement without money, it really is not a lot of fun. Now, speaking of fun, that monster spike in hours of young men playing video games, that's likely to increase household tensions. It's one thing if you got all the stimmy money, you could go buy mom some flowers, right? Now, the ace in a hole may be never having to play off student debt. At least that's what they thought. But now that that's being taken away, it's probably going to be time for all those guys to man up and really go out and find a job. Uh, and then there's, of course, uh, my ode to the Pet Rock Award of 2023. It's early, but I'm not sure anyone's going to be able to beat Meta's threads. You know, we spent about a week on financial TV talking about how Meta Threads was taking the world by storm. Four million in the first day, six million in the next day, 10 million in the next day, 100 million users. Well, check this out, folks. Usage of this is down dramatically. Uh, down in the, just in the last week or so. Uh, users are down 50% uh, from 20 minutes to 10 minutes. The Google searches on this thing have dried up absolutely dramatically. I mean, if you look right now, it's tied for how to tame a claustrophobic mountain lion. That's just how much interest there is in all of this. So, again, it's been a wild week for the market. Once again, the pros are trying to figure out what went wrong. They're trying to convince themselves as much as they're trying to convince you that, hey, at some point, the market's going to crash, and at some point, you know, this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And guess what? It will. But until that happens, I think what you have to do is do your own work if you can, follow the markets when you can, and just make sure you watch Making Money with Charles Payne because I got it for you. I got the best guess. Uh, we do real thorough, in-depth analysis. And essentially, we're, we've got you back so that you don't have to play the World Series of Poker unless you want to. And if you want to spend more time with your video games, that's fine, but it would be a luxury, not something you do instead of working a job. 